Cardiovascular disease is a massive problem, killing nearly 20 million people around the globe each year. But researchers at Michigan State University are thinking very small when it comes to a new way to fight heart disease. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to show us what they're working on, Doc. Well, you know, Kim and Karen, it's actually a big idea that uses very tiny particles. Atherosclerosis is the buildup of fats and cholesterol on and in the artery walls. Now, over time, that can impair the flow of blood. The plaque can actually break off suddenly also as well, causing a heart attack. This research is trying to attack that problem from the inside out. In this lab on the campus of Michigan State, researchers are developing medicine you can't see, at least not with the naked eye. They're only about three or four atoms across. They're very small. Researcher Dr. Brian Smith is designing nanomedicines, tiny particles that can potentially treat heart disease and other medical conditions like cancer. It's something that can help humanity. Smith says there are tremendous opportunities for nanomedicine to impact cardiovascular diseases. It's the number one killer uh, of people in the U.S. and actually globally as well. The nanoparticles being studied here stimulate cells known as macrophages to eat up cellular trash inside the plaque, reducing the size. Right now, researchers are testing the nanoparticles in mice and pigs. They eventually hope to do human trials. We are hoping that it can get translated uh, clinically and the patients can be benefited uh, using uh, this therapy. Tiny science with global potential. Now, researchers have shown in preclinical trials that this nanotherapy actually decreases the plaque size, it stabilizes the plaques, and it lowers inflammation in the area, too. Now, if this is proven out in clinical trials, it could actually help prevent or pa help patients rather reverse atherosclerosis along with lifestyle changes in diet and exercise. So this would have the potential for other diseases as well, I'd assume. Yeah, it has enormous potential. In fact, um, right now, Smith says in the U.S. and Europe combined, there are about 350 clinical trials involving cancer and nanoparticles. Now, that is compared to only about 25 involving cardiovascular nanoparticles. So we are really very early on the edge of this, sure. and this is definitely something to watch out. Yeah, interesting. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll be watching it. Thanks, Dr. McGeorge.